up with my cup filled. In the bitches with me rolling like the truck wheels. Hey guys, Jabber here. And what you saw in the beginning was a preview of what we're going to be working on today. Now, that exact preview is what we did in this very tutorial. Everything you saw there was made in this very tutorial. I might change, like, I might add some effects. Maybe I'll add black bars and everything. But, like, the main thing is that it's from this tutorial. Now, 10 minutes or maybe 15 minutes before this tutorial, I made a quick edit just to make it make the tutorial go a little bit faster instead of syncing in front of you guys and adding color correction and everything. So this is the edit, let me just play it. Uh, pulled up with my cup filled. Up. In the with me rolling like the truck hey, hey, deep in there. Okay, as you can see I added Twitch a lot and took your syncing. But that's gonna make it look good with the uh, uh, effect we're going to do now. So, what you want to do first is open a new comp. You can click on this or you can go to composition and new composition. Now, this normally will be checked, just uncheck it and make it 720 by 720. Make sure these are 720 by 720. Now, you can make it 10 seconds um, and that's it. Now we're going to have an another comp here and what you can do first you can right click go to new um, and add a solid or you can go to layer new solid and make it just click OK and then we have this solid now you can now what you want to add is fill okay drag it in it's gonna give us this color just, now we're gonna mask it to make it look like a triangle so just click on your pen tool, go down, and just make it look like a triangle. Just gonna make it real quick. There we go. We have the triangle here. Go back to your selection tool, and um, and now you want to go here, open masks, and we're gonna see mask one. Just duplicate it by pressing control D control D and the only thing we're gonna do is change it from add to subtract add subtract open it and then drag down drag it down we, we don't want it too big maybe this much and now we just want to change the color maybe to a I don't know to why not pink yeah why not pink <laughs> yeah I'm just kidding just make it any color you want um, flashy colors like pink um, turquoise light which is light blue or light gl or light green light orange will make it nice nice what the hell I can't even talk <laughs> Just okay. Now just add glow to it, and drag this up to make it look better. And the final thing, which is kind of important, is what is it called? Tur turbulent displace. Okay. And d drag the amount to maybe like a like um, 25, and what we're going to keyframe is evolution click on the stopwatch press U and go to like about maybe six seconds drag it up and make this to make it make this to two <laughs> see what I did there? <laughs> I'm kidding but yeah so now we have it kind of shaking kind of like dancing and I don't know what the hell is wrong with this freaking thing, but never mind. Um, so now we have um, the triangle all set up. So what you're going to do next is select it, 
press Control C, which is for copying. Go back to your main comp and Control V. Now we have the triangle here. You can also drag the comp in if you made any changes to the other one. But uh, yeah, and drag it below your adjustment layer because that is the twitch and we want to shake too and just add color correction a quick one um, you can't really see what's gonna happen but just to yeah that's very nice as you can see looks nice now we want to put this in every shot that's it. That's basically it. That's the tutorial. We want to put a triangle, scale it in, the f in every shot. Okay. Now let's go for the first shot, which is here, and go to where we wiggled it. Okay. And go right, right from the beginning. And now what we're gonna keyframe is rotation and scale. R S okay now we 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 clicked on rotation and we keyframe rotation and scale now scale you just at the at the first frame you want to make it to 0 scale it down to 0 so we can't see it and then go like maybe 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 20 frames or maybe 23 okay and then scale it up so until we cannot see it or maybe barely see it like so uh, and now just keep and and move the rotation to the left maybe or maybe to the right whatever you want but make sure every shot is different in rotation we don't want to do it the same thing all over again now let's just run preview this real quick Oh, I'm just staying too long. The rotation was kind of so much, so we're gonna bring it down to 30. And let me just make this a third because it's taking a while. You know what? It, I think half was faster. That's ironic, but never mind. Okay, now we have it done. Let's just watch it again. If you think it was too fast, you can just drag the scale back here and watch it. But I think it was good. Let me just see. Yeah, it looks good. And now that's it. That's we. This is basically the tutorial. That's it. That's a tutorial. But we, we it's a, just copy and paste. Go over to your other shot. Okay, and drag that in. And press U. And now here you you have to change the rotation to make it look better. So now it's to the right. Oh my god, it's taking a while. Okay. Or I'm it again. So how's it going guys? <laughs> um, if you like the idea of the previewing in the beginning of the uh, of the video, uh, just comment below and let's just watch this. Yeah, the second one was kind of fast. But I think you get the idea. Okay, yeah, I think you get the idea. Just do it like this. And then do it for the rest of the shots. Again.
Where does he shoot? Oh, okay. There we go. Go. Here. Um, and change the rotation again. And then go for the final one. Copy paste. And then go for the final shot. And change the rotation. That's it. That's the tutorial. Let's just watch it. Uh, this is going to take a while. God. Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to pause it and be right back when it's done. Okay, so it's done. Let's just watch it. Oh, pulled up with my cup filled. And the bitches with me rolling like the truck wheels. Okay, so guys. You can do whatever you want. I know it looks bad, it's just because of the tutorial. No, it looks nice, but you can make it definitely look better, like adding so much stuff into it. Uh, 30 stroke or whatever. So thanks guys for watching, and see you guys next time.